Hey, welcome back. This is Tom, and this is Tom's Radio Room Show. And I apologize for that last video. As usual, anytime I go to do something, I think it's going to take five or ten minutes. It takes a half hour. So that show got kind of long. Um, I got it up. The MFJ-984HT in-fed antenna, which is designed to work from 40 meters to 10 meters, and it will take, I think, either 600 watts or 800 watts when you're transmitting. Um, I'm planning on using my ICOM 706, which will only put out a maximum of 800 watts, so no problem there. So I got the antenna hooked up. I got it hooked up uh, to my analyzer here, and I'm going to do some testing with my analyzer first before I hook it up to my radio and so let's see how it goes here's what we're going to look at let me see if I can zoom in here so you can see my crappy writing here okay again this is designed for 40 meters to 10 meters now when I installed the antenna as I thought I was about 10 feet short of having it completely stretched out. So what I had to do is is I went from the pole next to my house down to a tree and what I had to do is the limb I was hooking it to was about 10 feet too close. So I ran the wire over the limb and back down. So there's about 10 feet hanging down here. That's the setup. Not ideal. Actually, none of my antenna installations are ideal, as you saw in the previous video. It's too cluttered. Anyway, that's the setup. So we're going to check it right now and see how it's doing. So what are we be, we'll be looking for, and I'll zoom in a little more. A little too much there. Is we're going to look at the SWR at 40, 20, and 10 meters. I can only operate on 10 meters voice, or they call it phone, because uh, I only have a technician license. So I can operate on 10 meters phone from 28.3 to 28.5. I can operate on these other frequencies, CW, but I can't work CW, so forget that. So. I can listen on any of these frequencies, and 40 and 20 are fairly active all the time, especially 40. 10, not very active, so I don't expect to get much there. It's one of those things that conditions have to be just right for it to be active. So anyway, so I'll be listening for a while and then keep checking 10, 10 comes in. I'll try to uh, do some communications, which is what I want to do. So let's see what this antenna does using my MFJ-226 analyzer. So let's turn it on. And we'll zoom in as much, much as I can. I, I reduced the resolution uh, so that I could get maximum zoom. And, of course, the contrast is giving me a hard time. So I just have to tell you what I see. So we're going to... Sweep the frequency, and we're going to check SWR, and now it's sweeping. So I set it up to sweep from uh, about 10 megahertz to 30 megahertz. Actually, I should have gone a little lower. I should have gone to 7 megahertz. Let me see if I can change that easily. Sometimes I can, sometimes I can't. So we're going to start at 7 megahertz, not 10. So we're going to put in 7, enter. And now it's starting at, hopefully, let's see. Zoom over here. I know you can't see it. Yeah, I'm at 7 megahertz. Okay, so let's look at 7 megahertz. Uh, I wonder if this will, nah, wouldn't you know it. Camera won't zoom in. Okay, so at 7 megahertz, let's see what we got. We've got 1.8 SWR. 
anything below two is good. So that's good. So we've got here, I'm going to put 1.8. So that's good at 40 meters. Let's go to 20 meters. So I'm going to zoom up here. I'm looking for 14 megahertz. Whoops, I went past it. 14.1. Okay, 14.1, it's 1.8. So it's still down there. So there's, there's a low spot at 40. There's a low spot at 20, just as it's advertised. So this is 1.8. Very good again. Which also means that my dangling it over the tree limb doesn't seem to be a problem, at least for test, this testing. Okay, now let's go to 10 meters, way up. Okay, I want to get to 28.3, that's where I'm going to operate. Thereabouts, 28... 28.35, 28 it is 2.32. Not as good as those other frequencies. 2.32. Still good. Not under 2. I was hoping it would be under 2. It's a little valley there, right up there at uh, 10 megahertz, but it doesn't go as low as I'd hoped it to go. Uh, but it's still not bad. Still not bad. So, pretty good. I don't know if I can draw. Ooh, I wish. Ooh, ooh it's almost. Try see, I think you can see. Let me tilt. I think you could see the waveform there. This is from 7 megahertz to 30 megahertz. And you can see there's a couple of dips, and those dips are at 7 megahertz, 14 megahertz, and 28 megahertz. So the antenna is working as advertised according to this meter right here. Looks good. Looks good. Um, like I say, it's my setup is kind of kludgy. I got that 10 foot hanging hanging over the limb. It's about no oh, six feet from the ground, the end of it. Um, I did notice I had to use an adapter up at the antenna because this coax that I'm using is. Um, terminated in a B and C on both ends, so I've got B and C adapter, adapter here. So I've got a couple of adapters, I could mess things up. I don't remember where that cable come fr came from, and of course it is not marked. This cable is not marked. It, it looks like a very good cable and the connectors on the end are pretty good quality. So I think the cable is going to be okay. It's about 25 feet. It came with one of my mini antennas. I don't know which one. I've lost track. So that's it. Um, looks pretty good. I think, um, I think the antenna should work pretty good even with my kludgy setup. And uh, we're going to uh, initially hook it up to my ICOM 706 and listen on 40, 20, and 10. That's what we're going to do initially. Like I say, 40 and 20 is pretty active almost any time. 10, not so good. So we are just have to kind of hope for a good day to see if we can do some communications on 10 meters. I think that about covers anything. If you got any questions, let me know. I believe this antenna was because it's the the high powered one. They ha also had the same configuration in low power, um, and I think it was ninety nine dollars for the high power one, and maybe forty nine for the low power. I'll put in the description the prices of the low power configuration and the high power configuration. Because, as usual, my memory has failed me. I wonder if it says, I don't think it says... No, oh, here it is. It does say, on the packaging, it does say it's good for 800, 800 watts. 
That's almost a kilowatt. And it's a what's considered a quarter wave infant. Oh, I think it's going to be a pretty good antenna. And thanks for MFJ for sending this antenna to me for review. Thank you, Richard. That's it. If you enjoyed this show, please give me a thumbs up and have a great day. Bye-bye.